Hi, welcome to a special edition of Dog Runner and Branding Random. This is a random thought. Um, I went live this morning, but it was, I guess nobody can hear it because of the wind. So I thought I would express my thoughts and opinions and prayers for Mr. Floyd's family. I know everyone is supporting him. So am I against uh, uh, cop violence. And so I thought I would start by saying, you know, uh, my heart pulls for you, but we have over 140 protests, uh, 140 cities, I mean, uh, including Virginia Beach, and our faith, our family, uh, finance, you know, our, our freedom is in great danger because of this. Uh, let me move out to my garage. That's just my our makeshift office. Oh, maybe I'll show you uh, Before we continue since our sponsor is Embossed Creation, you know, these are our products So we move some items here in our makeshift garage um, There's some over there Some over there inside so but we still maintain the office in in there, but this is our storage uh, room that used to be my mom's room. Uh, but anyway, um, here, let me go to the garage. It's more scenic and less business-like. So this is our garage where I make some of my, this is kind of like my men's, uh, let me sit down and show me, show you also my plants that now growing started from seed. Look at that. But, uh, Anyway, I'm smiling, but uh, deep inside, really, I'm bothered by all these riots, the war that we're going through right now. And uh, I know it's tough for the black community, especially because they've killed one of their brothers, and the uh, racism has no, you know, I've been through. Uh, I've been racially profiled and discriminated many times. In fact, that's another reason why I left the Navy for reporting someone uh, with regards to racism. But again, my concern is the protest erupting, the violence in over 140 cities at least, uh, including the once quiet Virginia Beach over George Floyd's death. And I think the cop has been put in jail for murder but I'm so bothered because for four years now the media they try to impeach Trump and kill the economy because if you impeach a president who will suffer you know why don't we just wait until election November um and every week they have something against Trump including this blaming him uh, especially Richard Rake who is an intellectual who is always against Trump says it's time for Trump to go but hey it this will just make him stronger than ever so it just proves that 1% is controlling this event at the uh, people's expense anyway um, I stuck my my headset there my wireless headset uh, so it's time to wake up people um, you ask if you ask to support rally with the president I just ask that you support our commander-in-chief let him do his thing and rally with him because this will go on and on I guess until the president uh, step out you think this will solve the problem but you the 49% liberals Democrats would rather support uh, an incompetent imbecile sorry for the word but that's how it is corrupted lawyer picked to be puppeted by the media again and again um, haven't we learned from the bushes the clintons and the obamas how they control and they how they were bought by lobbyists by one percent elite to let them do their business sell their drugs to us and feed lies vicious trance for another 50 years and let's just give the president the benefit of the doubt let's rally for him because if we're all running instead of 49 percent divided you know and then just one percent of the elite controlling the entire democratic party um is one of their puppets and pawns i'm sorry to say it's 
I would blame the friends, my friends, who continue to distribute this agenda of lies um, that threatens America's fate, family, finance, freedom, future, friends. This all happened because of your agenda, your whining. Research what you read, please. Research, watch, do you what you read? Research. I research everything. I don't even post anything from Fox because they say, oh, it's Foxes. Yes, I agree. But the other 49% have already been awakened. I'm one of those who are sleeping for, I was just awakened, you, you know, four years ago. And uh, just realized that, you know, we are the king, we are the pr princesses, prince of one true king instead of being the slave and the pawns of the one percent of the black you know the the evil the part the, the the left party be right this time don't be left and wrong so who's to be blamed on this terrorism illegal illegal you know riots the violence racism killings it's it's all the sleeping pawns, the liberals. I can't blame them because they're sleeping anyway, they, so they have to just share their thoughts and follow what the media says without even thinking. So I think I'm obligated to wake up people to, to tell you that, hey, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Abraham Lincoln, they're black, but they have, they're, they're actually conservative and they're Republicans. Did you know that? The media have poisoned our minds, including myself, and then suddenly somebody snapped a finger and I woke up and started research what I read, research what I watch. I still watch CNN and I see all 90% of their news are lies to move our minds. You know, if you went to college or even master's degree or PhD like myself, you, you know that hypnotism and brainwashing is true and the news they're all fake and Hollywoodish in their belief just to and we're just some people just not aware of it so please friends get a clue for the sake of our freedom my freedom my fate my finance and, and speaking for the rest of America half of America are against authority half of them are you know to support our commander-in-chief our pilot people are is, is scared to express this because they will lose business oh especially liberals you know I already have five liberals unfriended me Wow uh, and that's how it is you know they they are for protest they're pro protest but they don't want me to protest how in how hypocritical is that they're under the hypnosis of media, believe me or not, I 100% guarantee. So let me snap and hope, are you wake up yet? Um, so check the latest um, op-ed by this guy, Robert Reich. He is ultra socialist conservative and I still read his stuff, but he's just also wrong. You know, he's a Trump hater in inciting violence and uh, getting all this text um, against to disrespect authority disrespect the commander-in-chief disrespect everything that's lawful and go side with because oh because you've been hypnotized you've been brainwashed read history and start using what God gave us you know we're only using maximum of 10% some of us only use 1% because they they just have media think for them so um, start thinking there was and make the country uh, make America great again like how it was with the you know just look at what the message of Malcolm X uh, Abraham Lincoln and uh, Martin Luther they're all protested but peacefully but then the CIA, the media, have planted this uh, thing. You know, whatever happened to the 2.2 million Americans that may die from COVID, suddenly, you know, it's no longer in the news and people are outside, close together, no quarantine. 
and doing their best to loot and destroy America's freedom and faith and family. So, yes, honey. Yeah. So, until next time, have a great run. We have to respond to the call of uh, we're delivering at where? Beach Bully? Okay. 19th Street. 19th Street. Okay, where is the restaurant? Beach Bully, where's that? 19th Street. Okay, we're discovering more restaurant Beach Bully. I haven't been there, so thanks to Grab Hub and Delivering Happiness. Till next time, have a great run. Like my plants? Look at that plants. Look at that. It's all growing. Oh, I have to take out the carpet. It's dirty.